What's up guys, in this video I'm going to be installing the TB Performance Products traction bar and what this is supposed to help with is like torque steer, wheel hop, it's supposed to help with some vibration I think, just overall traction because of front wheel drive and then the open diff on these cars being hard to deal with. So it's supposed to help with that and it's fairly inexpensive and easy to install from what I've heard. So I'm probably gonna have to jack it up because there's not enough room down in there, but there should just be two bolts that we take off under there. And we just have to put them on and torque them at 110 foot pounds and then also turn them a quarter of a turn after that to make sure that they are tight enough. So I'm gonna go ahead and jack the car up and see if I can get it off with an impact or if I need like a breaker bar or something to get the bolts off but hopefully this will help with grip during launches and kind of like steering feel and just kind of help the car feel a little bit better so let's go ahead and get started so there are two bolts you can see right there and then there's one on the other side right there and that's what we're going to take out I already tried the impact and they couldn't get them out so I'm gonna get a breaker bar with an 18 millimeter socket on it and use that to break those loose and take them off. And then we will put the bar, it'll go like under here, like that up against those bolts. And we'll put the bolts in and then go ahead and torque it down. And that should be a simple install. That should be all you have to do. And also something else about this install is that the wheels have to be under load while you do it so you have to have the car on ramps and not jack stands so i'm going to go ahead and push the wheel up with the jack and then put these wooden blocks under it because it's really my only option because i don't have ramps that's definitely not safe and i wouldn't recommend doing this but it's my only option and i already got one of the bolts loose with a breaker bar so this is what we're going to do for now so you can see the two bolts are out and you can see they're missing there and it is completely fine to have the car under load. I just have it stacked on some wood blocks, just not your best option, but it does work. And I'm just going to go ahead and hold the traction bar up there. And you can see there's that end right here, which has like a hole for the bolt and the flat end. Let's see if you can see it there. The flat end there is what goes up against the car like that. And then you just thread the bolts through and then we'll get them all threaded on and then i will use a torque wrench to torque them to a 110 pounds and then you'll give it a 90 degree turn and it will be all good to go so as you can see the bar is all installed and the bolts are torqued in there to the specified settings as i mentioned earlier so I'm going to go ahead and lower the car off the blocks and then we'll go test it and see what kind of difference it makes. So I went and tested it and did several launches and drove it around on some curvy roads and it did seem to make a difference in first gear if you launch it with launch control. It still does spin and I did get a little bit of wheel hop. Not on every launch, most launches wouldn't, but every now and then, probably like every three or so, I would get just a little bit of wheel hop, but it does feel a lot stiffer and more planted. And whenever you are turning into a corner, it feels a lot more like the steering feel feels better, I guess. It feels more planted. It's not like a humongous difference, but it is, it does seem worth it for me at least. And then if you like floor it in second gear, it still does spin and it'll squeal the tires a little bit but it seems to be a lot less of wheel spin and it kind of seems to grip up faster. So I do think it will help a lot on launches. Like if you lined up an ST with this and without it, I think you probably would be able to see the difference. So it was also, it was pretty easy to install when you think about it, it was just hard to get those bolts off. But if you get a breaker bar and you might have to take one of the wheels off to get some extra room, but I was able to get them off pretty easily with a breaker bar. So that's pretty much it. Please like and subscribe and I will see you in the next video.